there have been fear and uncertainty that serves as an evident difficulties brought by the COVID-19 pandemic. It geared the need on the recalibration of the teaching and learning environment to build educational resilience among the education stakeholders. Thus, the threats to one's own academic survival become one of the main issues of daily life. Numerous academic experts believe that flexible learning should take responsibilities and efforts to focus in lieu of surviving the academic years during pandemic crisis. Hence, it is precisely one of the keys to surviving this latest pandemic and all that it entails the potential crisis in the provision of educational landscape to help preserve and reconstruct a post-pandemic society most especially in view of the new normal. Furthermore, the fast-track utilization of the Education 4.0 is also an impeccable factor that is most considered in this kind of survival time. The gearing motivation of St. Clair College in providing quality and affordable education consistently works even in the midst of pandemic. In the course of achieving this end and given the uncertainties brought by the present crisis, the school seeks to groom its students to become lifelong learners, duly equipped with life skills which will enable them to face the challenges of their future endeavors. COVID-19 has never mastered our plans, our path towards success of quality education in St. Clair. The COVID-19 pandemic that brought about havoc and disasters move, move up, scale up, stir up, and stirring up will become more meaningful if you accompany it.
Hello Philippines! Hello World! We just finished celebrating one shared word in St. Pierre College. We started and ended working, learning, and culminating a lot of relevant activities. But in a generic sense, the name of your school becomes only a name if the vision and mission and outcomes are not put to life. How do we cope with the pandemic situation when cases of COVID-19 are going up? Skills that we need uh, for everyday life, no? Matuto makipagkapwa, matuto makipagcommunicate. Live from St. Clair College Virtual Studio. Let's celebrate with the stars of Batch 2020 and Batch 2021. Welcome to the virtual graduation ceremony of St. Clair College.
the school of life skills, and the leading edge in online education system. In his point of view, that students must interact with their environment in order to adapt and learn. Last year, the online learning of St. Clair College became very successful. We went on a very successful and smoothly online education because St. Clair College is equipped with all the necessities required and needed to make the St. Clair So, napakaganda na tayo as parents magsisimula sa atin yung pagiging mentally healthy. Kasi pag hindi tayo mentally healthy, pwede yun yung ipapasa natin sa ating mga anak. No? Hindi rin sila magiging mentally uh, student. Uh, has completed his, uh, his or her um, uh, grade 10 or from the PEAC National Secretariat. And lastly, the category B or those grade 10 completers from non-ESC private junior high school. Mga kababayan, ang pambansang awit ng Pilipinas.
myself na ang taba ko, ganyan. Tapos, I have a lot of pimples. My hair was super crazy and things like that. So, parang, parang akong insecure about my looks. That made me... The modern technology helps a lot in bringing into you good news from St. Clair College. We are reaching out in your own home and wherever you are. This kind of program your compassionate heart, hindi lamang ang thinking mind, and we want to develop your essential soft skills, hindi lamang academic skills. So we need to recognize that our world is not yet sufficiently organized to solve this entire category of problems. I can think of no better people to discuss solutions of the willing. Let's get stuff done. Let's not try and think that 193 countries coming together to rewrite rules and norms is going to get things done. Right. karaniwan sa day 2 hanggang uh, day 4 pero ang pinapaalalahanan ng mga iba't ibang mga eksperto ay iba't ibang regulator Therefore, we should know how to use it properly so that all of us will have a healthy mind, diba? Now, I'm really thankful that we are celebrating the Mental Health Month. And I Many people become worried, anxious, depressed, nervous, fearful, Stress, burned out, halos panawan ka ng ulirat, halos manghina ang iyong kalooban, halos sabi nga kanina may nababaliw na daw. Yung lahat Nabaliw. sa programang ito because we want you all to be mentally healthy. And to be mentally healthy is not to avoid things na nabibigatan tayo at nahihirapan tayo. Hard work should be less work, right? Less work, but we have to do our best. Right? So we can bring out our quality education in the same way. Exactly, does the United Nations do? The United Nations is an international organization, as I said, founded in 1945 after the Second World War. Who are you? Everything is good. Peace be with you. It means, hi, good morning. I would like to tell you all that you are all beautiful. Yes, if we appreciate our own differences. We must love, unite, and care for.
pagkakaroon ng natin despite ang pagkakaroon. Our private schools. We want public schools and private schools to march together towards better preparation for our learners as they go. I invite you to address this general assembly and I do hope that all of us stay safe, healthy, and uh, focused on relations or relationships. Excellent relations bring about a deep student's impact. Every act of every household has become a classroom. Ay ang uh, kasabing private schools. At uh, pag nagkataon mo, ito yung pinakuna sa history ng private schools sa buong Pilipinas. At para sa lusot, asahan niyo po na bukas ang aking opisina at handa ako makinig. I-review, pwede kong i-rewind. Balikan. See? For example, through AR. Structure your success story. Because you're stuck when you share your success story, it may sound like you are bragging to others. See, and the voucher program. You know, how much more would the decline be? That's why we've always said, you know, many, many times.
St. Clair College responds to paradigm shift in the educational landscape paradigm shift during the new normal in education landscape serves as an integral change that happens specifically in the way of thinking and doing as the old normal was evidently replaced by a new and different way or more popular today as new normal. Historically, the 1918 pandemic, Great Depression, World War II and the present COVID-19 forcefully implemented the education sector to embody paradigm shift that come along in the generation. The schools created a profound realignment across the globe, across industries, across economies and across populations. This 21st century pandemic served as the driving force for the school to redefine and re-engineer what we value, how we govern, whose opinions we listen to, how we view facts and science, and even our relationships with other private schools. Numerous private schools used to focus on status, enrollment, expansion and innovation. Then came COVID-19. Our 21st century tools and technologies that seem to work miracles and make us feel invincible and powerful, are practically defenseless in the face of COVID-19. Subsequently, COVID-19 has become a global health crisis. As of October 6, 2020, almost 36 million people have been infected and over 1 million have died. Statistically, in the Philippines, Worldometer tallied almost 325,000 infected and 6,000 deaths. To curb the spread of COVID-19, most private schools have opted to employ quarantine protocols and temporarily shut down their educational institutions. As a consequence, more than a billion learners have been affected worldwide. In accordance to the international data of UNESCO, among this number are over 28 million Filipino learners across academic levels who have to stay at home and comply with the Philippine government's quarantine measures. To respond to the needs of learners, especially of the 3.5 million tertiary level students enrolled in approximately 2,400 Hays, certain Hays in the country have implemented proactive policies for the continuance of education despite the closure. One that are resilient among higher education institution is St. Clair College. These policies include modified forms of online learning that aim to facilitate student learning activities. Online learning might be in terms of synchronous, real-time lectures and time-based outcomes assessments, asynchronous, delayed time activities, like pre-recorded video lectures and time-independent assessments. Arguably, the Hayes pivot to modified forms of online learning attempts to concretize the government's stance to continue learning despite the pandemic. As the Philippines Department of Education Secretary, Leonor Briones quipped, Education must continue even in times of crisis whether it may be a calamity, disaster, emergency, quarantine, or even war. The Philippines Commission on Higher Education, on the other hand, advised Hayes to continue the deployment of available flexible learning and other alternative modes of delivery in lieu of on-campus learning. These pronouncements aim to encourage the continuance of learning. Without implementing rules and regulations, however, private Hayes are left to make their own policies. This is where the St. Clair online education system was fully formulated and implemented. 